What was it like as a player walking out on centre court? It is just the most fantastic feeling in front of this crowd with them cheering you on and that thrill and a bit of fear as well, but it's all mixed in and, and there's nothing like it. It's, it's just wonderful. Joe Jury was Britain's number one in the 1980s. You want to end up on this centre court and then the thrill of winning. Like other players and fans, she knows what a magical place Wimbledon is. Look, nothing beats the atmosphere here on Centre Court in the sunshine at Wimbledon. It's epic, but not everyone can make it to South West London. So for a lot of us, that means watching on a TV, mobile or computer, not all of which will have commentary. The All England Club has been working with its IT partner IBM to fix this for the Wimbledon website and app. It collects masses of data from all around the courts for its AI platform called Watson X. What we're doing is we're taking all that information and we feed it in to the model, which then takes text, turns it into numbers, it takes those numbers, it compresses it, expands it, and then it outputs text again. That could be in turn spoken as an AI commentary. And this is what it sounds like. Schwiontek ranked first. Both male and female sounding AI commentary is available on this app. Murray from the United Kingdom will play Titsy Pass. What a fantastic uh, place to do an interview. This is amazing, isn't it? Right on centre court, sun's out. Jo Jury, who we met earlier, has been commentating since she stopped playing professionally. What do you think makes a good commentator then? I think you've got to be uh, short and sharp sometimes with what you're saying and to get a feel of what's happening. Sometimes you don't need to actually even say anything because the crowd have gone mad and you want to feel that and you can see the players. Uh, so let it, let it go. Uh, other times, maybe when it's flagging a bit, then it's time to fill in a bit from behind the scenes. So it, I think you very much have to have that feel of, of when to talk and when not. So is this just the start of computer-generated commentary replacing people like Joe? To be clear, this is on matches that don't have commentary at the moment. We would love to make um, all matches available in a more accessible way, and you could see how you could then use different languages, you could use different voices. So I think there's a lot of exciting possibilities in the future with this. The intention here is to complement and supplement those commentators that we know and love rather than replace them. For now, the AI commentary is only being used after the event for highlights, but IBM has plans to generate commentary in real time. We also label, you know, what, what we're classifying, like a net approach, a volley, the types of shots. But just how close to that goal are they? So we're actually very close. You know, these models are very big. And in fact, I'm going to tell you a very interesting stat here is that I, by the time, you know, a tennis point is over, I can create commentary in one to two seconds. Right, so it's really fast. And at the beginning of the project, you know, that was the grand challenge, was to be fast as possible. And we were looking in the order of maybe 20 to 10 seconds, right? Will it be able to do it in, you know, less than a second? Is that the aim yeah. of this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I think it's achievable, right, for us to get there. You know, we could horizontally scale out some of our algorithms. We could also make our, um, our data gathering collection, uh, you know, faster as well. So when might people be watching live and getting real-time AI commentary? I think it's going to be sooner than any of us really could imagine. By the time we roll around to next year's tournament, I think you'll really enjoy what you see. Where do you see this technology moving in the future? And do you think it will be on real-time matches, for example, next year? Well, I can't give you any commitments, um, but, I, but I can say what we are going to be doing is, is innovating and inventing uh, new experiences, which maybe we have not even imagined yet. OK, but what do the professionals think? Oh, wow, now we're going somewhere where it's a bit scary, I think. For me, in my mind, I can't quite understand how an AI would grab the feel of the situation. Yes, there might be certain things that happen in a match that you can say, oh, you know, they missed this or hit that. But what about the reaction of everything? What about the reaction of the player? What's just happened? So to get my head round this, I'm, I'm just not sure. And, you know, will I be out of a job soon? I don't know. IBM says Joe's job is safe for now. But five, ten years from now? Well, that's a whole different ballgame.